is going on guys thank you guys so much for checking out the channel and might as well hit that subscribe button since you hit this video we have a awesome awesome display of the rs dreamers we've been hearing a little bit about it but i actually been blessed with a good friend who actually is getting the whole collection and the first pair i'm reveal he's already jumped in them and enjoyed them. He says they're great for hooping. He says these gym shoes you don't have to break in. And we're about to do a review on them. And no unboxing because, like I told you, he destroyed the boxes because he wanted to see if these shoes was everything he wanted them to be. So, baby, I will start off with you. What do you think of the shoe? What's your first impression? Well, my first impression is the bottom. This right here. The soles here. You like how the soles look? Yes. Okay. They look like they got like a leaf type of traction. They look like they real good on on the hardwood floor. I wouldn't recommend them outside. I like how the shoestring looks like they have a wraparound to the back part of the ankle to give it an extra tuck. Mm -hmm. Pretty wonderful color. I like the multiple colors. Also with the solid color on top. Do they feel light to you? I think they are very light. Also the mesh type of material that is right here and mm -hmm. on the sides as well. So it gives a great comfort um, on your foot. Okay. And also, it's got the RS. What is that right here on the tag? Oh, on the tag right here, I believe that's the RS Dream logo. Matter of fact, let me get closer where you guys can see that. Yeah, Puma, you know, Puma for a long time was basically known for running shoes and track shoes like that. But this, this definitely looked like it could be an awesome basketball shoe. You know, I mean, I feel like he definitely has some fun in him because uh, they just <laughs> they just look like, and and it's odd because normally on basketball shoes, a lot of your wear and tear start first at the top, at the top up here, but it has a material that's very flexible and sturdy at the same time. So, I don't know. I heard they hard to get. <laughs> I heard they very hard to get. And like I, that's why I said, we've been very blessed and lucky to have a good friend that, you know, had, had the opportunity to get them. And I would love to get a pair of these and before I finally retire from hooping and check them out. Also, he made a comment that he didn't have to break them in. He would just go ahead and put them on and go hoop, go play ball. So that was something yeah, that yeah. he had mentioned to us. So. Yeah, yeah. So the second one, that was the very first one. The second one we're going to get to is literally, uh, as you can see, the box. They turned up the graphics and the details of it. So I guess you can consider this is an unboxing. And, uh, these are the ones that, you know, they even have wow. a paper that says. I am impressed. I like these. And um, 
these are the ones that I literally see first. Yeah, these are um, these are definitely nice. I I, I feel I, I feel like the sole is nice and beefy. You know, when you get a certain age and them knees don't feel as good as they used to, you need that nice, thick, beefy sole when you grab a rebound or you're ready to stop and pop. You need that cushion to stop all them joints from just crashing into each other. And I feel like this shoe will definitely do that. And once again, you know, the little sway right there, but... Most of the wear and tear on basketball shoes will usually be up in here, and you can see that because he, he, he definitely played in these and got the little logo on the back. You know, Puma got their little signature in there. So, what you yeah. think about these? Same as, as you can see, the soles are the same way as the other ones as well. So, that is, and, and look at this right here how thick it is. Right, yeah. And this right here. And, I mean, they're pretty good. And they're not, they're light. Pretty light. So they're yeah. not as heavy or anything like that, so. Yeah. These shoes are very, very hard to get. Very hard to get. And, and us preparing to shoot videos on them, we actually was like, okay, let's see. And it was like, we went to a couple of shoe sites and they was like sold out, sold out. So I don't know if he just made a limited to do a test run on them or whatever the case may be. But I, as you can see, we like this shoe. Mm -hmm. yes. We really think uh, these these are some awesome shoes. They also got good... the same logo in the back as the other ones. Yeah. That's right yeah. here. So yeah, this shoe is, like I said, lightweight. The leaf again, maybe it's a signature soul mark or something. But the RS Dreamers, these are the red ones. And um give you guys a secret i heard there are a pair of mario brother ones so if there is we're definitely gonna do a video on that we definitely hope we can get our hands on them and do a reveal because i'm pretty sure if they anything close to that they're gonna blow our mind away and um i'm i'm impressed i'm impressed all oh, and also they are, I think, $125 or $135. So, it's, to me, a win-win. It's a it's an awesome price on an awesome product. Mm -hmm. So, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also, in the comments, if you feel like there's anything on this, these shoes we might have missed or we might have didn't point out, please leave it in the comments. Because uh, once we get, because I heard there's the Mario ones coming and there's also supposed to be two more colors coming. That way when we do those videos, we can correct our mistakes. Right? Right. All right, guys. Thank you so much. And you guys enjoy the rest of your day.